Hey everyone, and today we're going to continue our platformer game series. And today we're going to implement the platformer AI. And the good thing about this platformer is pretty easy to customize. And if you look here, it is at the end of the edge. It's going to automatically change directions. And you can it does not even change directions. You also customize how much distance you want to move and like something like that. So, so let's start with some explanation part. So basically, we uh, there is some this for example, this is the ground. And if I'm going to draw. So I have said this guy here is our AI. Let's say we call it AI. And if I going to tell him that okay, two points here, like point uh, point A, and even more point here, like point B. So, so I can tell him that uh, he need to first is go that point, and if he reach that point, reach here, then he uh, flip it and just go towards the point B, and just if you go point B. So it then go toward the point A. So now we can actually, uh, for example, we does not want to move like uh, we point. We can also set the point B here to make it customize how further he can go. So that's all the simple things we can just customize the two points and give the AI two points in which he can go in between them. So let's look on Unity how this is going to be happen. Okay, now I'm the Unity here. And if you look, uh, we have this character that we make in our in the previous video. Instead of the camera, and some animation. Now let's uh, going to hide this character for now and just focus on the AI. So for AI, I'm going to do? I'm going to characters and I'm going to use this character one and just drop then drag and drop here is on the center of the board. Now I'm going to create an empty game object here. Empty game object, reset it, transform, and name it uh, AI. And simple, I'm going to drag, make the child object. This character will become the child object of AI. Now, reason why I'm doing this, uh, for example, if I'm going to explain with this, uh, some coordinate systems. Now, if I'm going to draw a bar here, uh, just simply R here, and I'll draw the one another bar, for example, that here. Now, this point is uh, zero and zero, and let's take if this is y and this is x, and and just make it negative x and y the spacing. So in Unity, the coordinate system something like this. You so this point is just a word origin. And now if for origin for the our game object AI. So look if y and x is if you're going to look at scene here and I'm going to enable the grid. Look the same coordinate system and the place now in the origin points. Now one thing I want to show you that if I go and drag and drop this player. AI here, so it look its points are changing. Like for example, if I go here, so if take some point here, just give give a point name three three, just simply a point three three. And so if so, our AI is currently at the point three three. But what about the uh, is child objects? Now, uh, so basically, uh, this is child object. So the position of the uh, the player is really relative to the AI. So this means it's going to be zero. For this means that if our child object, so the origin for this our child object is the position of the uh, child object. If I take the child object, is going to be zero and zero. So it means what origin now for the this object, the origin will be a uh, word origin. But for this object, which is child, is the word the origin for this is is the position of the AI. So it's so that if I am making this child object, so basically I can easily drag and drop anywhere on the map and it's going to move within the limits and I does not want to okay? so let's get to more objects first let's give a name point A it's going to be point A and let's get one more empty call game object we should transform and point B I'm going to select this both object and give them a nice label I'm going to this red one and if you look zoom in okay, okay my mouse wheel is broken so okay if you look here, there's a B on the written over here. Uh, if I go to B here, if you look, there's a B written over here. So just drag and drop the B somewhat here, and also drag and drop the somewhat A here. Let's make it down uh, here too, somewhat down here. And what the, about the AI? Let's make it zero again, zero and zero. Like look, the things are moving with uh, the our parent objects now E and B just things are moving with so we're just making it zero for now and also I'm going to drag and drop just somewhat here ok 
okay so what here also let's make the point uh, zero again here now i'm going to go to character this one just make it also name it just go to add component we need for the collider that we can track with the enemy too so add a box collider and it's going to it is somewhat something down here did it and then we need a real body component to make it remove the physics so you can also interact with some physics stuff if you if this make the game look pretty nice so it's also two real body can interact with each other which is pretty nice but you can change afterward it does not and also feel that all it is not ZX if it does not want to rule around everywhere and that's all there's no need to do anything now we need to add a script to it but before that we just should uh, go to the box point E and B and add a box glider so we need to know that something is there uh, adding the box glider we tell him that there has a collider and if we can try the collider we can give back some information to the player that we need uh, so add a box glider and make sure it's doing this trigger because no want to collide we just want to just add a trigger so we can go through them and you can adjust the length of the box for now I'm just leaving at this and also I'm going to add a tag so it does not mean we can give the play that we just hit that uh, this specific tag triggered so just give a so I'm already created a one tag called name point just so I want to get creating a new tag just go to add tag and just click press button and create a tag here and just click on save button after then just set your both objects and just give point tag after this, just add a script, create, create a script, sorry, name platformer, AI, you can name anything I've already created. So let's create a look on what is inside. Okay, so now my script is open up. The first thing you need to add here is the speed. Now this variable is going to control how fast and how slow will be. Next thing, uh, as I tell, I added a rigid body component, so we're going to use the physics based movement also. So get a reference for rigid body 2D also. Then we need a uh, vector tool, this is going to control direction. Now I'm making the direction uh, public so we can easily adjust things from the vector. If you wanted to change the direction, you can easily adjust it from the vector. There's you don't need to go in script and change it. Then uh, we're just going to the white fixed update. Now, fixed update, as I tell you, we have using a fixed based movement, so we need to use fixed update. So we, here's things are very simple we have RB dot position, so we're going to RB dot position will take has the written or uh, some value um, give us value that the, what is the position of the that of rich body so we're going to increase that position by the direction according to what direction can, can be 1 or minus 1 and then multiply by speed and also then multiply by time dot fix time dot delta and that's what then is going to make the play uh, enemy move then we also need to check that like, whether we reach the point or not so we are going to use uh, trigger function on trigger into 2D that function so here if you look I have creating one condition that it's a collision dot compare tag it means our uh, player our AI uh, collided with uh, with a, a collider which has a tag name point so it's going to add this line so it's going to just uh, reverse the number like x now so if what happened the direction dot x going to multiply by minus 1 what is going to happen like um, if uh, uh, if direction will be 1 so it's going to become minus 1 and if it's minus 1 is going to become 1 it's simply like multiply minus 1 by 1 minus 1 give us a value 1 or 1 multiply by minus 1 multiply by 1 is going to minus 1 the simple that mathematics and nothing else so the next thing we need to transform the local scale we also need to make an AI flip so it look like it's moving the direction he moving so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use the transform dot local state for this. Okay, and we give passing a new vector three because we are what transform within the direction. We can also make two D, but no matter, just doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Just I give three D and just give the direction value here and so here. But um, negative that means the reason why negative uh, generally um, generally the Characters face right side, but in my case, character is facing left side, so I'm making the value negative at the first point. So and make the y and x just give the y x similar to the y x z axis and nothing all. But that simple, this simple script is simple. Now this is the script and this is pretty easy to set up. So let's back to the Unity and see what we're going to do, what's happened. So let's first give some speed. So giving a speed just giving our two making something slow and drag and drop the rigid body here 
here we need to set up direction just give one for example to give him one direction going to move the player into the right side and the minus one is going to move the negative left side let's just play and see what's happened Look, it's a player starting moving up, but it's the wrong addition, but don't worry, this, this doesn't matter at all. Yeah. And if you look, it's going to say, now it's just flipped up and the right rotation just, it's in the first time, it just has a wrong rotation, but in the second time, just, it's going to be right, and things are working rightly. Let's try to make a uh, more custom, uh, let's try to test with some, like to make, uh, when you're making levers, so you need to just, I wanted to, just, I want to just drag and drop this AI anywhere on the map and starting working. So it's really easy. So if I give the minus one in the case, if I want to go to the point A and see the point B, so it's also going to work out. We look, it's starting going at a B and then flip back and back to the one. As we look on the direction, also changing according to the which direction is going. So let's first now now let's drag and drop here in the project window is going to make a prefab out of this delete no do not delete this right now okay so we're going to activate a adjustive prefab now for example i'm going to drag drop here somewhat here somewhat here also make the character just middle of the player just not okay then i'm going to drag and drop a new one somewhat here just choose the uh, a1 here uh, a somewhat here make sure you do not they do not collide with each other this is going to get a problem and you can also make the uh, collider much more smaller so it's pretty handy and just make it a drag and drop here now look if I going to drag and just make so it's, look, it's not pretty much complicated tau it's pretty easy to customize afterwards and if I have two persons moving at the same direction now if what I'm going to do I'm going to one uh, it's character here I'm going to make it one Make it here one. Look, it's going to start moving in different directions and try to create uh, some kind of platformer AI functions. So that's it for this video. And in our next video, we just going to give this enemy a health. It can be immortal. So we also need to kill it. So it. And I hope you do learn from this something. Learn from this video. And if you learn, hit the like button and just also subscribe to the channel if you really like my content. And if you want to support this channel, you can support me on Patreon and. And thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.